Hi Colton, hi Drew, this is Jackie, the librarian at Blue Mountain Community College. Um, got your email about the book you were looking for, um, looking at martial law and um, for Hobbes' role um, as a secretary for um, Odds West and the Copperfield Affair. So um, I'm going to show you a couple things because um, there's two other resources I want to make sure that you look at and remind you of. But let me first answer your question, which is, what's the book? <laughs> so the book happens to be in my office still. Ta-da! It is um, Wild Men, Wobblies, and Whistlepunks as the title. Um, you'll want to open it up and um, look at the contents. Ta-da! And you'll see on page 73, that's where there's that little chapter or entry um, called The Affair at Copperfield. Um, this book, I believe, is at the Helix Public Library when I looked it up last. So you'll just, you know, you can walk on down to um, the library there and should be able to pull it right off the shelf. And again, go to page 73. Um, there might be some other things in here, but that's that main chapter. Um, you know, I skimmed it really quickly. It reads kind of like an oral history. Um, but, you know, that especially, you know, from this time period, that's where a lot of these things read as people, you know, sharing and telling their stories of um, experiences. So, but I think, I think we're very good and useful. Um, I want to show you a couple other things uh, really quick, though, or remind you. And those are kind of what I you know, flew through, I guess, um, when I was up at Helix with you guys. Um, so starting from the college homepage, bluecc.edu, you'll just want to click on library, yoink, right there, and that gets you to our library page. Scrolling down to research guides really quick, National History Day. Um, you know, we're looking at Oregon, so we might as well, uh, Oregon-specific resources. Um, I'm going to show you a couple things. One is, um, I want to remind you, in case you haven't looked yet, at the Oregon Encyclopedia. And, you know, pretty pretty straightforward. Find an entry. <laughs> well, the things you might want to think of are your keywords here. So, um, you know, definitely Copperfield, right, of course. Definitely Fern Hobbs. You might want to dig a little bit further and look at actually Oz West. And, um, other, you know, as you start getting a little bit further away um, from that core to terms of Oz West, martial law, prohibition in Oregon. Um, so, you know, for example, if we type in for hop, so and you can see I already did quick search. You can see there's a few entries on her, and um, you can just read the entry right here. It's kind of handy. So, great, some great images, and, you know, this slides through. So, perhaps as you're, you know, building your, um, you know, your documentary, this might be some great images to clip straight from the site. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you... Um, you know, I didn't look at the Oregon Historical Quarterly, but that's another place. But looking at historic Oregon newspapers, definitely. So I have a direct link to these right here in this libguide. Um, they're actually housed at the University of Oregon, but um, I put a link right there for you. And you can see really easily, you can just do a basic search. You can do an advanced search if you wanted to, you know, limit by city or county for, for whatever reason and time period. Um, Totally up to you um, how you want to do this. You can start by typing in Fern Hobbs um, or Copperfield, and if too much comes up, then um, you know you might want to um, filter your search a little bit. But if we hit search, what these look like is it's the actual news article, the newsprint. <laughs> so um, it's, it's kind of cool in some ways, um, and that can look really good when you're um, again building your documentary. So um, I'll just click here scroll down, oops, you can see, ooh, Superwoman, <laughs> the class I used to cue, isn't that funny, and it was probably too hard to change the type, um, Superwoman tells of um, victory in Oregon, so Miss Fern Hobbs, once secretary to governor, visit Salt Lake, and you can see her relating her story to um, this um, particular, at this particular conference or convention, whatever, um, where she's telling that story, so kind of fascinating, you get the actual article, pretty cool. Um, and, you know, we came up with about 20 results there. Oh, excuse me, 359. Um, we can always go back and again, if you change that search to Copperfield, you might get a little bit more um, and slightly different details. Yeah, there's actually quite a bit more, um, but that's a broader term. So you might want to, um, oh, but here's a great photo here. Um, uh, I'm assuming for now. Okay, if I could get this to cooperate. <laughs> Be careful with the scrolly thing. I'm, I'm going to tell you now. Be careful with the scrolly thing. Um, 
I'm bring the screen down here. But um, interesting. So, so a courteous fight apparently in the store and a Joan of Arc figure. Okay, so anyway, so a couple of primary sources from the day: the encyclopedia, which will give you tell you more of the story, um, some articles from the day, um, pretty handy. Um, so yeah, definitely take a look at these. We could absolutely find more, but you know, get started with this, and um, I think we should be able to find more on this particular topic. In fact, this is something. Um, it may have gone to the national level, so, you know, we could look at the New York Times, for example, and see what maybe came out um, at the national level. Um, I could see that with this topic. So, anyway, I hope that helps. Um, call, email me um, when you have more questions, okay? Good luck. Take care.